Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It is weigh-in day. I'm going to share with you how my week went, my weigh-in, and we're going to talk about the WW Workshop topic, which by the way, was awesome. It was a topic that I haven't since I've been in WW or part of WW that they've ever talked about which I thought was fantastic. It is great, especially coming into the holidays. So I can't wait to share all of that information with you. So if you're new to my channel, stick around and subscribe. Make sure your bell is turned on so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. I just started my second channel, which is all about weight loss and nutrition. And I would be honored if you'd come over and subscribe to that channel as well. I'll make sure that it is linked down in the description box below for you. I have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of September. I think I can do it. So head on over and join me. Lots of great nutrition and weight loss content there. Also make sure you're checking out the description box for other information such as my website for all of my recipes, my nutrition coaching website, where you'll find a ton of options when it comes to nutrition and weight loss coaching. Everything from one-on-one -on -one to macro calculation. Highly encourage you to have me figure your macros and calories so you kind of know where you should fall every day. And there's some group coaching. There's just a lot of great information. So check out my nutrition coaching website in the description box as well. Also, you'll find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things and the link to head over and join me over on my Facebook group. I'd love to have you be part of my community over there. So spend a little time down in that description box. And lastly, before we jump into today's video, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy these weekly weigh-ins and workshop recaps. And let's jump in to another weekly WW weigh-in. week. Well, let me just tell you, first of all, thank you guys so much for all of the love on last week's weigh-in video where I shared with you that I had an incredibly busy week. I didn't do the best when it came to my weight loss. I did end up losing weight, but it was a rough week. This week was certainly equally as busy, but like I said, I had last week under my belt. So this week was a little bit less stressful when it came to being so busy. I was able to manage things a little bit better, made much better food choices, stayed within my calories every day, but two, one of which was my mother-in-law's celebration of life. Of course, that was the day that I kind of indulged a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. And then I had another day this last week where I was over my calories and by points a little bit. But overall, I had a much better week. So thank you again for all of the support and love on last week's weigh-in video. Like I mentioned, this week was extremely busy. I have a lot going on with real estate. You know I just launched my second channel. Again, please head over and subscribe. I'd love to have you over there. It's worth getting all of the information that you can when it comes to weight loss and nutrition. So thank you in advance for subscribing to that channel. So yeah, my week was good. It was just busy. I got in my jazzercise. I believe I did three days this last week. I had planned for four but last Saturday was canceled because it was an outside pop-up party and our air quality was horrible, like very unhealthy. So she rightfully canceled the pop-up class. So I still got in three days. So I'd say my week overall was quite a success. As I've mentioned many times here on my channel, sometimes we plan to be successful on the program. Sometimes we plan our food for the day and then life happens. And sometimes unexpected things come up or life comes up and we aren't able to stick with our original plan. That goes for pretty much everything in our life from food to exercise to just day-to-day -day activities. Sometimes a wrench is thrown into those well thought out plans. And I've also mentioned on my channel several times, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So make sure that even though your plan may have a wrench thrown into it, it's very, very important to have a plan daily and kind of how you're going to operate your life your food, your exercise. So that is what this week's WW topic is all about. And that is to make a plan for unexpected food. Unexpected life happens where food that you planned out for the day doesn't actually happen. So there are some tips and tricks from WW on how to kind of plan for these unexpected things. So we all have our favorite foods, the ones that we just can't resist. If they're sitting in front of us, we can't resist, but have them. 
regardless of their calories and smart points. So being on WW, we plan for these things, right? We plan to use our weekly points. We plan our day around zero point foods so that we have extra points for those unexpected foods. But sometimes we've used all our points. We've used all our weeklies and unexpected food still happens. So what do you do? So instead of mindfully just eating the unexpected food, make sure that you do a little check-in with yourself. There's three things that you can do to make sure that number one, you really want to have that food. And number two, that eating that food is actually worth it to you, especially if it puts you out of points and out of weeklies. So when you're staring at a plate of fudgy, delicious brownies, here are three things to do to check in with yourself before indulging. Number one is lean on strategies. Lean on all the things you've learned since you've been on WW. Lean on the things you've learned over here on YouTube when it comes to weight loss and nutrition, and really focus on all of the strategies that you've been taught over your healthy lifestyle journey. If those brownies are still calling your names, it is completely okay to use your weeklies to indulge in those brownies. That's what weeklies are for. They're there to be used. And I highly encourage that you use them on WW. It helps get you a little bit closer to your calorie goal. And it makes it so you can indulge in some of your favorite foods without feeling like you're cheating or breaking the rules or going off of program. If you're out of points and you're out of weeklies, have a small portion of those brownies. It's not going to kill you and completely derail you. Don't eat the whole plate. Just have a small portion so you kind of get that brownie fix and it satisfies your craving. And the last tip from WW, which I am sad to say that I disagree with, and I disagree with this from a nutrition standpoint, a caloric standpoint, but WW says fill up on zero point foods throughout the day so that you have points available to eat said brownies. Why I disagree with this is you can easily reach your caloric goal for the day on zero point foods. And then when you do have those brownies, now you're over calories, taking yourself out of a calorie deficit, hindering yourself from weight loss. So sorry, WW, but I disagree on eating zero point foods all day. I think eating mindfully throughout the day is a much better approach, still using points, focusing your meals on zero point foods as WW is intended, but I completely disagree on eating zero point foods throughout the day to save up for a big splurge later in the day. Again, taking you out of a calorie deficit. And as we know, everyone with me, calories in versus calories out is how you lose weight. Tip number two is look at any alarms. So how are you going to feel an hour or maybe two hours after you indulge in those brownies? Maybe you ate the whole plate, maybe you ate half the plate, maybe you had one, but how are you going to feel later in the day about indulging in the brownies? If you picture yourself satisfied and content and that craving is gone, great, track it and move on. If you picture yourself sorrowing and regret and wishing you would have never eaten those brownies, that's the alarm that you need to watch for. And maybe that's the alarm that you need to not indulge in the brownies. Number three is make a plan. So if these alarm bells are just going off, make a plan. Maybe it's not best for you to indulge in these brownies right now. Maybe the after effect and how you're going to feel, is it worth the deliciousness of that plate? Maybe take the brownie to go. Maybe set a brownie aside for later. That way you can mindfully eat the brownie and think about it and plan it into your day a little bit better. Instead of just gorging in that plate of brownies, you've planned it out, you've set up a plan, you've thought about how you're going to feel after eating the brownie. And when we mindfully eat and plan and track and move on, it's a much better approach than just mindlessly eating our favorite foods. And when you eat that brownie, feel good that you made a conscious choice to do so. So those are WW's three tips when it comes to unexpected food and we're all going to encounter unexpected food sometimes honestly daily sometimes food that we generally don't eat pops into our life every single day and these three tips are a great way on how to approach it and like I said I don't remember this topic ever being discussed at WW so I'm pretty excited that they reference this because I think it's really really important and again with my disagreement on zero point foods, we all work WW the way that we wanna work WW. So if you are someone that can eat zero point foods all day and still have your favorite foods and see the scale move, then you're doing something right. That's just my honest opinion when it comes to overindulging in zero point foods and then overindulging in foods that are calorically dense and heavy in smart points. So that's a recap of this week's WW topic. Now let's talk about 
my way in. My week this week was much more successful than last week, even though it was incredibly busy, equally as busy as last week, I still feel like I made much better food choices. I will say that I have been nailing my gallon of water every single day since the beginning of September started, so I'm incredibly proud of myself for that. My water bottles that I use, I will link them down below for you, my big gallon bottle and my smaller bottle, that really, really helps me reach my water intake. So I'll make sure I link those bottles down below for you guys super cheap on Amazon. So I have been feeling a little bit puffy, fluffy, bloated, you know, I've been feeling a little fluffy this weekend. I don't know why. Maybe some of the foods that I'm eating have been a little bit higher in sodium. So I wasn't really expecting this grand number when I stepped on the scale, even though I feel like I did well throughout the week. Got my exercise in, stayed within my points and calories. But when I stepped on the scale today, I lost 0.8. So that's almost a full pound. So even though I feel a little fluffy, I still am down 0.8, which is another loss for the month of September. So because I weigh in on Fridays, this is actually my final weigh-in for the month of September. So I will pop here on the screen what my final weight loss was. Wasn't quite as much as I was hoping, but considering everything going on this month and how hectic and crazy it's been, I still finished the month quite strong in my weight loss. So I wanna hear from you guys. First of all, how was your week this week? Did you gain, did you lose? Was it what you expected? Secondly, let me know how the month of September went for you. And also, I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about some goals for October. We can do that in another video, but start thinking about some goals for the last 90 days, the last three months of the year. If you are part of my Facebook group, I have a holiday challenge starting October 1st that will carry us through the end of the year. Prizes, giveaways, support, Zoom calls. I'd love for you to head over and join us on the holiday challenge. All you have to do is go to my Facebook group, request to be a member if you aren't already, and it is pinned to the top so that you can head on over and join us for the challenge. It's just a great way to stay on track and not gain the 12 plus pounds that most people gain over the next three months. So that would be great if you would love to join us there. Also, make sure you are checking out my second channel, subscribing. Thank you so much in advance for that. And of course, subscribe to this channel as well and make sure your bell notification is turned on. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, my food website, links and discount codes to my favorite things, and the link to head over and join me on my tribe Facebook group so that you can then join the holiday challenge. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to hear from you down in the comments. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Happy Friday. Let's kill it this weekend and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.